An overnight house fire in Norfolk County has claimed the life of one person. The local fire department says the home had working smoke alarms, but they were not installed properly. Sean Cowan has more. It was just before midnight when firefighters were called to this home on the corner of Robinson and Queen Street South in Simcoe. Police and paramedics arrived shortly after. Neighbors say they saw a lot of smoke. Just saw the, the fire trucks pulling up and uh, saw some smoke coming out of while well, drifting across the road. And uh, they were pretty efficient. They got it out in probably 20 minutes. Neighbors tell me there are two units inside this home, an apartment on the main level and another one upstairs. A volunteer firefighter from Norfolk County Fire arrived on scene, gained entry to the home, battled the blaze. Two people did escape uh, with smoke inhalation uh, injuries. However, one person uh, was located deceased in the home. This neighbor who lives next door asked us not to show his face, but says he knew a couple of the people who lived inside. Woke up around 12 o'clock to the sounds of uh, uh, fire department and that, and then um, we saw them go in and they um, they started to uh, put up the uh, fire. There's a lot of smoke. Uh, there were people in there. They, uh, we saw one lady come out, um, and uh, we knew the guy next door that lived with his wife, and but we haven't seen them. So the Norfolk County Fire Department says the fire was confined to a single room in the home. The house had working smoke alarms, but they were installed too low on the wall to provide early warning signs. The fire department says smoke rises to the ceiling, so that's where your smoke alarms need to be. Our thoughts and prayers are going out to everyone who's been affected by this tragedy, uh, especially the volunteer firefighters that were on scene. Thank you for your quick response to our paramedics, call takers, and the people that were in the surrounding area at the time. The fire marshal's office has taken over the investigation. They are looking into the cause, where it started, and circumstances around the fire. No details have been released yet on the person who died. Sean Cowan, CHCH News, Simcoe.